A boys' Latin middle and high schools will reopen tomorrow after they were put on lockdown and closed earlier today. That came after a loaded gun magazine was found in a student's backpack. All of these developments happened on the same day a group of parents and educators came together to find solutions to violence in schools. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe. Let a kid be a kid, and that's, that's, the, that's what's missing there. These kids can't even be a, 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 a child. Parents once again forced to frantically come to the aid of their children, this time at Boys Latin High School in West Philadelphia. A loaded gun magazine was found nearby at the middle school. No one was injured. Daryl Johnson is among the fathers who rushed here. My son just turned 18, so the fear of a father is, is unnerving. You know, because you know that this it can happen at any given time. I open it at anything can happen anywhere you go in the city now. It's like nowhere safe. SWAT teams and the K-9 unit were brought in to lead the investigation. No shots were ever fired, but a middle school student was taken into custody. It's not clear if they will face any charges. Just ridiculous with these kids on kids killing each other. You know all this crime that's going on. I don't know what to do. We need to find out what to do to, to stop this. This incident happened on the same day that a group of educators and parents were scheduled to come together to address violence in Philadelphia schools. The big thing is a two day summit aimed at addressing social issues in schools. The shooting outside of Roxborough High School earlier this week added more urgency to their message. Why do people feel like they need to resort to gun violence? What what are the issues in their lives that need to be addressed for them to find alternative sources to express feelings. And when this summit ends, they'll be bringing some of their ideas to state lawmakers and also to area school districts, including Philadelphia. Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.